Fellow gym hunters, welcome to another episode of Vibin' Time over here at Coinverse. As always, guys, I'm your host, Vibin'. And before we get started, guys, you know what to do. Smash up that like button. Make sure you guys are commenting and engaging with me. Also, hit that notification bell so you stay up to tune, uh, stay up to date with our latest videos. Um, and today, guys, we're actually going to be talking about one of the projects that we covered before. I want to talk about uh, some of the latest things that's been going on with that project and potentially what uh, what the future may look like for this project. Uh, that project we're going to be talking about today is actually going to be called the Stepping Token. And you guys are really familiar with this token because we actually done a couple of videos on it. So while I get my screen shared here, I'll just chat with you guys a little bit. And I just want to look at some of the things that's kind of happened. We know a couple of days ago since the 30th, uh, they, they pretty much got banned in China. Uh, they pretty much got banned in China, right? And we see here on the full hour, if we try to take in, um, you know, since since that day, you know, you, you had this this sell pressure come in, right? And, and it, was, it was only natural that this was gonna happen. A lot of things do get banned in China from time to time. And when it does happen, we always see a uh, major capitulation. And it's usually a, a, a good ride back up as well. Uh, so I don't think this would be too much more different, but we also know that the native token or the rewards token that people are also getting uh, rewarded in, uh, also had a little bit of a slip um, on the 30th as well. We see this, the drops, uh, the drops through here. We see the drops through here from this high on the 29th. All of, and, and, you know, this was just from them banning uh, stepping in, in, in China. And we seen stepping post that they were going to uh, comply with this. And I think they said they were going to wait until the 12th uh, to try to have all their uh, users off. And then, you know, a lot of the um, uh, the mainland users were using VPN, but I guess a lot of them stopped. Um, but I, I wanted to dig into this a little bit more, man, because I seen this flat, I seen these sales happening, guys, and I wanted to look into it. I, I wanted to see, hey, are the users that selling right now, are these uh, Chinese users that are, are using the platform or that were potentially losing the plat using the platform and don't want to lose their investment, they're going to go ahead and pull their, 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 their tokens off. That would make sense, right? But um, as I started digging into this a little bit, man, I started finding some interesting things. Uh, not all, not all that glitters is gold, right? Um, while we want to say that the, uh, you know, we're gonna pull up this article here, um, the, the Chinese storm and Stefan. So we know we know that Stefan uh, had a lot of. We know that it's from Australia. Let's start it. We know that the the, the company is registered in Australia. Funnily enough, the two C, uh, the two uh, CEOs or co CEOs both are Asian. Uh, and I think they're both Chinese. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure they're Chinese or at least Asian. Um, and they both are from there. So I wanted to look into this and I wanted to try to see, you know, because it's kind of hard to locate where the users are actually using, it, even though there's a GPS locator. Um, when I got into doing some research on trying to figure out, you know, where the users are going to be, uh, where the users are coming from and, and what countries they're in, it got a little bit hard to find their information, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys what I found. Okay. So what I found here is that China's not even in the top 10 uh, among what's searched um, as far as stepping in countries. So in the countries, when people are looking up stepping on, on different uh, 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 search engines, these are the countries that come up the most. Russia, US, Turkey, France, Vietnam, Germany, Japan, Taiwan, Brazil, and Ukraine. So as you can see, Russia, country with the most visitors, about 9% of the total visits, and Ukraine is the 10th with 2.74. So Chinese will definitely be lower than this number. So we don't, excuse me. And then they show here, in this figure, stepping app in the last three months, you can, is usually among the top 100 apps and has been very popular in this country. So if you see here, guys, if you wanna compare to Chinese, Russia users, you can also look at the statistics. Look at look at the difference here. So if you look at the difference, it looks like China isn't the main threat as far as uh, why, why, you know, when the sell pressure did happen, I don't think that, you know, it took a lot of, it, I don't think it put a lot of pressure on the project because the project had a lot of other users. So you had a lot of users from a lot of different countries. Um, and, and it just showed that China wasn't in that top 10. I would personally was one of the people who were, who was like, man, you know what? It, I, I may have to think about this because you're in a catch-22 in a sense, whereas if you know that this cryptocurrency is banned in some countries, you have to start looking into it and say, hey, look, what's the what's the size of that country? We know China's a huge population, right? But then it was like, what what part of that country is actually active in this in this uh, in this protocol? Um, so that's what I started digging into, guys. And I, I like I said, I found out that you know, out of all the users that are in China, um, it wasn't that actually that many, right? Um, we, we know that there's 
And even though, even though we have this dip right now, the other thing that I found it that the users are are just at an all time high is with the app and everything. Uh, so starting in the December, Stepper had garnered more than fifty eight thousand or five hundred eighty thousand users worldwide, and about thirty eight thousand of them were active in the last twenty four hours. So sometimes when people ask where the sustainability comes from, it does come off the back of the people who just you know come into the project. Uh, the people who are actually walking have said to earn between you know, $75 US and $300 US. This is about a 45 minute walk. Guys, this is something that gets you active. This gets you off your couch. This gets you from behind the screen and getting out there in the real world and actually walking around and, and getting energy from the uh, the main source, which is the sun, right? So in January, step and raise 5 million from the investors, uh, Sequoia, we know all of this, the good stuff, right? So GM, uh, GMT was listed, market capitalization has fallen from 600 million in its peak uh at 2.4 billion dollars in april um so this thing's dropped a lot from 2.4 billion down to 600 million that that is big so we starting to see uh it like the the, the move the earn space kind of cool off and i think it comes with uh you know maybe regulatory pressure guys we don't know how this is going to work out and maybe if you're outside of the u.s this next line that i say may sound funny we don't know how this is going to uh, be taken to the the labor the labor the labor laws. If you have kids out here walking and they're earning, uh, this is work. Uh, this and there's a form of minimum wage that comes with that in the states. Um, so these are things that I look at. Uh, but then the third thing I want to kind of cover, guys, um, is what what other what could be next for step. And and when I went through and I was tracking data, guys, even though the U.S is number two on this list that we've seen over here, as far as, uh, you know, search content, they were one of the uh, lowest holders. So I think that Stepin still has a lot of countries that they could get into. Uh, you know, we said Russia, Bangladesh, uh, India, and especially before India, you know, decides to come out with their own cryptocurrency. Right now, India is in like the weirdest situation. They banned crypto cryptocurrency, but then they didn't ban it but they're working on a cryptocurrency. So it sounds like what India is saying is like, you guys keep having fun until we get our currency ready or our token ready. And then it's all, it's all done. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the, the digital one, right? Or the digital yuan. Um, so I think when we look at this, I think Stefan still has a lot of room to grow, guys. I think when you're looking at uh, the chart um, and we see here, um, and you guys can just ignore these lines on here, uh, some stuff I was playing with earlier. But if we was to just zoom out, uh, and look at this, guys. I mean, when they say buy the bottom, <laughs> not financial advice, right? But I, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I think, you know, when you look at something like this and, and we see the users, the usability of the app is going up day by day, even though the price is going down, guys, you got to understand that somewhere along the line, this is going to this is going to eventually meet up and, and it's flip, right? Um, so, for me, I think stepping still, if you think about it as, as far as being banned in China, guys, it is, it does seem like a lot. But at the end of the day, if you look into the users and you try to find out the user, the user base in China, it's not that big. And one thing I'm starting to find out about the Chinese people is that when they want to do something, they do it. Uh, and I think, you know, they they protect themselves and, and still look at it from a risk management side. I don't think anybody um, personally, you know, holds uh, the stepping token as a serious investment, I think it should, it should be like an experimental thing where this thing could be the next wave. Uh, but make sure you guys are securing your profits along the way, especially if you're an active user and you go out and you walk every day and they're paying you to walk. Guys, take your profits. <laughs> that's, that's simple math, right? Um, but I did want to dive into that today, guys. And oh, yeah, I did want to show you guys here. When I was talking about the new and daily users, uh, this is what I meant. So if you look here, the, daily, uh, the existing user base is still up extremely high. Um, all the way up to 45K. And then the new users, it's kind of sitting at all-time highs. So you see that these two are at all-time high. Uh, the all-time highs kind of came in a little bit earlier here, but guys, look how look, look look at these candles. If these were on the chart, hey, if this was the volume on the chart, we'd be some happy people, right? <laughs> all right, so so I'm just looking at crypto rank here, like we said, and we see the volume of the new users still, still having a bounce up, guys. This is good momentum. And then the existing user base doesn't seem to uh, be selling off. Um, so 
For me, I'm personally still bullish on uh, Stepan. I still love the move to earn space. I think that Stepan has taken the move to earn space to the next level and brought serious investors over to take a look at the projects. And also, it brought in a, a great group of fitness junkies, bro. People love to work out. Man, let them come work out on Stepan and get paid, man. I can't wait wait until we have a, a, a earn to earn token. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We don't know what's going to come on next. But guys, we want to keep you guys up to date on the latest and the greatest of all the things that I could find online and all the new tokens and try to go back and cover some of the gems that we actually talked about before. And Stefan was the first one because I know a couple of days ago they had the uh, the, the the FUD in China or the, the ban in China. But guys, you Bitcoins get banned every year in China and we still end up going to the moon, right? So until next time, guys, vibing out. <laughs>